Okay, so Vincent Jackson has passed away. He was found dead in his hotel room in Tampa Bay, and I don't want to make this video. You know, it's not something that interests me in terms of, you know, talking about stuff like this. You know, I usually like doing fun stuff on this channel, but I thought about it, and I feel like it, he at least deserves to be remembered and, you know, acknowledged. So... I never knew anything about this man off the field, obviously, you know, I was early, I mean, I was young when he was playing in the NFL, but I did do a Google search, he's got a charity, Vincent Jackson Foundation, maybe it's still going, if y'all want to check that out, see what we can do there, but mostly I'm just going to focus on his playing career because that's all I knew him for. This man, when I look back at his stats, it wasn't as crazy as I remembered, you know, he never had a 100 catch season, and I don't think he even had a 10 touchdown season. But I think his impact was bigger than the stats. I think he was a better NFL player than the stats will show. He was only a three-time Pro Bowler. But watching him play as a very young in, but he felt like he was a higher player than that. I feel like he was a top 10 receiver when he was at his best, clearly. And he was one of those early guys that he was just a big body, just toss it up to him, and he could make some crazy catches. And when, I'm, when I was talking about like Philip Rivers' retirement, his time with the Chargers and stuff like that, Vincent Jackson's career kind of slipped my mind, but... Now just looking back and think about it, that man was, he was nice out there. That man was basically an NFL legend at this point, just considering how nice he was when he was out there. I mean, he's not going to have probably Hall of Fame numbers or anything like that, but I would say that he probably deserves to be in like the Chargers Ring of Honor, stuff like that. He was you know, doing off, off, off the field stuff with his charity, all that. So it's just sad news. I don't even like talking about this too much, but... At least acknowledge for the people that maybe were younger that didn't really watch him when he was at his prime that that man was a beast, probably more than the stats say for the Buccaneers, but for especially for the Chargers because they were a run first team as well because they had Ladainian Tomlinson. So he's not going to have the those huge catch numbers, but when he was playing, he was one of the top guys out there. And maybe in today's NFL, where it's more pass happy, where they're more willing to take risks to big body receivers like that. He would probably be benefiting even more. He's kind of like a Mike Evans guy, if you need a comparison. He was great, man. He was great. Sad news. There's really not more, much more to say on this. That's all I got.